Hello everybody. Today I'm going to show you how to accurately align your wheels for about 20 bucks. But the thing is, the 20 bucks you're going to spend are only for the first time you do it. After that, it's going to be basically free and for every time you want to spend on it. So let's take a look at the tools that you need in order to do this. So here's the tools you're going to need. Vice grips, a couple of spanner wrenches, some, uh, you know, board to use as skid plates. And the tools that I use to align the wheel are these these camera, these toe plates that I've made. I'll explain those in a second. So the toe plates are relatively simple. Uh, they're made on MDF board as thick as possible. These, I think these are like an inch thick. Um, then there are slots cut into the board that are consistent on all the boards. All the boards are exactly the same. These slots allow you to have a consistent height above the floor where you can put your tape measure in and you're measuring the distance between the two wheels the, in the front and in the back and that allows you to see the difference between toe in and toe out. Also I've marked on here what direction to turn things under my car, the adjustment for the tie rod in order to make the toe out or toe in. That helps me understand things. And once you start doing it you'll see why having that marked helps you understand what's going on. And these little location pins basically hook onto the tire and let you put the, the boards in position every single time in the right place. Mounted with the base plate. And the mounting the base plate just use the simple uh, piano hinges and the base plate is pretty much the same width on both plates and helps keeps it balanced and allows you to put a weight on in order to keep them from moving. So get your car in the air so that you can get underneath and loosen your tie rod adjustments. I use ramps for mine and then I use the jacks to lower it back down to the ground. So um, you can use jacks or ramps to get it up in the air and get underneath and uh, start loosening things up. Remember to chalk your real wheels. Uh, safety first. So the thing you're going to be adjusting is going to be this tie rod um, adjustment. Turning one way pulls the wheel in. Turn the other way turns the wheel out. So this is how you make your adjustments. And this is what I use the vice grips to grip. The skid plates. What these are going to do, you're going to put them beneath the wheels. When I lower the car back down on the ground, so I've already taken it off the jack stands. I mean, sorry, the ramps. And we're going to put these underneath. And this is going to allow the wheels to slide into a natural. So in order for this to slide really nicely, there's two sides to this masonite. So the masonite has a smooth side and a texture side. On the smooth side, it's going to go toward the ground. And I'm putting a little bit of water with a lot of soap in it to allow this to slide more freely. I'm doing it on both sides. Go ahead and get your wheel straight. Now let's take a look at how this thing slides out from the skid plate and the water solution. See how the wheels kind of move out? So now we're ready to start putting the tool up. Now I have both of the uh, toe plates set up on both wheels. I put a couple of uh, 25 pound weights on there just so that they are held in place. You don't need those, but I put them there just because I don't want to. I'm doing it by myself, and if they fall over, it's just like a pain in the ass. So let's go ahead and start getting this thing up. So magically, this is some tape measures I got for free from Harbor Freight that I'm going to use to measure distance between the front of the tire and the rear of the tire. You can see how far I line my wheels are. I did some suspension work and knocked the alignment out. And here is the rear of the tire. And here is the front of the tire. It's towing in quite a bit. After making a few turns, you can see now that the numbers are getting closer. A few more turns and I will be on. So now you can look at this and see how close we're getting. So this is the rear of the tire. It's at 69 and one and about one quarter. I'm going to get these to be close to exact. I think I want a little toe out, probably like one sixteenth of toe out. Let's look at, here's the front. You can see they're almost spot on, but I want a little toe out. It'll make for better steering and a little quickening, quicker steering into a turn. So about one sixteenth is what I'm looking for. Maybe one. So we're doing pretty good here. So I'm right at about a little less than three eighths. So I'd say I just want an extra thirty second back here less in order to get a little toe out in the front. Let's move to the front. 
and you can say we're pretty close on so it's about a 30 second difference between the front and the rear so that's a good tow out for me so I'm going to lock it into place. When you tighten these bolts make sure you don't rotate this at all because if you do it's going to knock your wheel out of alignment again. I hope that works out well for you. That's all there is to aligning your wheels. It's pretty simple. Have fun. Thank you very much. Get it done.